So CNN, the most uh, trusted news network, the most fair and balanced news network out there that is also doing like horrible in the ratings in comparison to anybody else, uh, just the other day edited an image or I mean a video of Trump and the president or prime minister of Japan feeding some fish. And what they did is they edited out the part where the prime minister fed the fish first, like dumped the whole box in, and then Trump, you know, took his took his lead and then dumped his box in right afterwards, right? And what CNN did is they edited out the part where the president did it, and then they're like, oh, look at Trump. He's a big, dumb, oaf, idiot. Like, he's just gluttonous. And, you know, it, it, it goes in line with the narrative that they have of him already, that he's a big, dumb idiot. Like, the, even the headline of Jezebel was like, big, stupid baby dumps load of fish food on Japanese koi pond, right? So, <laughs> clearly, like... Yeah, this is their intention. They're trying to create the image for people, the average citizen, that Trump is inept, incapable of doing his job, uh, is very stupid, and they do this all the time. The media does this constantly. You know, whenever you actually read a story that they're publishing with like a headline, it's like, oh, he said this. Whenever you read the actual story, it, there's usually a clarification near the bottom of the page. So they understand that, yeah, I've mentioned this before in my other videos, that people just watch or just read the headlines in a lot of cases. And even though they made this retraction, uh, people generally only see, like only a fraction of the people that saw the first story see the retraction, right? So people already left with that impression in their head. Uh, that Trump is is this way and I even seen like a bunch of reporters bitching that he wasn't eating Chinese food and this and that and he's like oh how could he eat a burger he's like this is dis despicable like you know the blue check marks and the pundits and the journalists and stuff and it's like oh my god it's like if, if it's not his steak how he likes it done if it's not how many scoops of ice cream he likes it, it it's just the most craziest shit ever that they get angry about and, and it's so funny right it's so funny to see them get so just pissed off over the most mundane stupid things right and if he were to eat chinese food they'd probably say it was like cultural appropriation or something they'd be like he shouldn't be eating chinese food <laughs> you know so it, there, there, there's no winning but CNN has done this multiple times. Like they edited, they have edited many clips of of different things. Like uh, there was that thing a couple of years ago where, where that woman was saying like, "Oh, we don't want people to uh, burn neighborhoods down here," and they they like edited it out. And then what she really said was like, "Go back, go to the suburbs and burn their houses down," <laughs> right? But their headline was like, "She's calling for peace." So they deliberately alter news all the time there's that thing a while ago where they set up a bunch of muslims and they took a thing they're like oh look there's a protest going on right here but that's not how the news is supposed to work even if those people were already there right let's just say they were already there you're not supposed to, as as news agencies one of the rules is you're not supposed to go and direct people and be like, oh you're supposed to just take an, a photo or a video of what's naturally going on right so they do this stuff all the time and they always claim to be the most objective the most fair this this and that but you know people can see through you it's like you're no different than msnbc than a lot of these other far left things you just try to portray yourself as centrist right where jack taper comes out and says some stuff that's moderately uh like okay you know it's like oh see we're okay <laughs> you know we're not so far to the left but you know you're not fooling anybody when you have to deliberately alter shit to make a uh, republican president look stupid and not only republican it's trump right like they specifically hate him even more than the average republican so these people are extremely biased and we're just seeing it we're seeing more examples of it every day and with people like james o'keefe and stuff we're going to keep seeing more and more of it
and they're not going to be able to say they're objective anymore. So that's all I pretty much had to say. If you like my content, subscribe and have a good day. See ya.